All right, y'all, what's up? So we back with another video. Yeah, so we're about to work on this bike, get this back tire put on because the guys wanna go ride in the hills tomorrow. So we are gonna get cracking on that. I've got part of the new tire on, but I have to get the tube in, which is right over here. I've never done this before. I had Paul do it for me last time, but I guess we can try and figure it out. We gonna get it, it'll be all right. Um, after about 15 minutes of trying, I gave up. Um, I'm going to see if my housemate can do it because he's an actual mechanic. He knows what he's doing, but we got to wait on him to get home. So we'll come back in here and check on this when um, he gets back and hopefully he helps me out. <laughs> the professional will take care of this one. Sheesh. I mean, I, this, bro, I've been sitting here with this for five, six days now, bro. Literally this day last week, actually. We got a little homie right here helping us out. These tires be killing me, bro. Wow. Tire is on. Looks so good. Shout out to the boy Logan. Y'all give him a follow on the gram. He's the goat. Just moved in. He's from New York. Little factory mechanic. Just got me hooked up in no time. Took me four or five days, but that boy did it in like five minutes. Now to get this tire back on, and then we should be ready. It rained a little too much today to ride tomorrow, but I think we're shooting for Thursday. Hopefully we can go hit up the hills, hit some new spots, hit some new jumps. Should be fine, but for now we gotta get this tire on. Let's go. Plan on it not taking me that long. Cause it is butt cord. And that's the issue we always run into. Should be good. I'll turn, make sure it's snug. Boom. Back at it like a crack egg. Good stuff, baby. Good stuff. Should probably replace this here. Eh, this one should be all right. All right, just for a little comparison, this is the new joint. Fresh, okay? And then we walk over here. Yeah, not as much light. It is about 11.30 on Wednesday here, and we are about to hit the hills. Uh, it just poured rain yesterday, so not sure what to expect, but we got to get loaded up because we're going to give it a shot. If it's too wet today, we'll just uh, ride tomorrow because we're planning on riding tomorrow anyway. Really wishing I had some sort of tear-offs because we all know how riding after a rain and then it's all muddy. Oh, it's the worst. It's all right, though. This bad boy up right here. These right here. And all that's left is the bike. All right, so we're headed out. I honestly have no idea where I'm going. I'm kind of just flying blind right now. I'm trying to think of where we went the last time. I think I can do it, y'all. I think I can do it. I think I can do it. But we're gonna try, dude, I'm telling I'm telling y'all, it's gonna be too, too muddy. Actually, I don't know. I don't know how California is and the freaking rain and stuff, but I know in Texas, when it rains, tracks are closed for like, at least a day or two, at least. So I'm gonna figure this drive out and then we're gonna get it. Shout out to them 2.5s, my boy. Eating this crap right now. Oh what, uh, what happened? Is that supposed to be open? I mean, it's supposed to be open over there. Your right or left? Well, which way it takes? Probably left, probably right, right? Oh. You see me going squarely back there? Just... Sitting there, my wheel's like this. I was like, <laughs> I guess we're about to find out. Off we go. So we are parked in Paul's Pops neighborhood. Um, kind of sketchy because we're just I'm just outside this person's house. Uh, hopefully we don't get towed. What do you think about the spot we're at right now? I don't know. We're gonna hopefully make something out of it, you know? Yeah. We'll find I forgot my shovel. I mean. All I brought was my bike and uh, <laughs> the vibes, I guess. This boy said he's ready to roll out. Damn, all right. Let me catch up. <laughs> so, that's right there. What if you hit that? You got to go over it, I guess. That... I mean, you got the landing, but the way this jump changed, your landing in those bushes. 
Dude, what? I know you can get it. Dude, that's what I thought about the jump at loss. Dude, if, if I can do that, you can for sure hit this bad boy. It's bigger, but bro, like I'm laying it right there. Dude, you got it, bro. You just gotta size it up. Case it a couple times, you'll be like, oh, okay, bad. spin cycle for you dude I, I was coming into that i was like i slid right here and i was like oh yeah i'm gonna spin it I, I heard you i heard you pull your clutch back there on top of the hill and i was like oh he's coming in hot <laughs> got in now start that thing out and shoot out a dirt class you know ever since i adjusted my handlebars i feel like it's been so much easier to like i don't know hit things like i feel so much more control of the bike it's crazy how uh when your stuff's set up like it should be you feel a little more comfortable on the bike oh. and just like that back at the crib i didn't even use the actual stand i had to put this triangle stand down because I'm worn out, boy. Bike's a little dirty. My Texas folk know that if it rains, yeah, don't hey, go ahead and plan on stop, not riding because it's probably muddy as all get out. This here just soaks it up. Makes it hook up so much better. Yerk. 